Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this lecture, we will discuss three related performance parameters which are accuracy, thoroughness, and precision to describe the quality of results obtained with a method. Accuracy, closeness of results together and to the true value. That means if you spiked your sample with 5 dB as example, your results should be close to this value, maybe 4.98. 5.1 so all of your results should be close to this value to be accurate method validation quantify accuracy by assessing both systematic and random effects of results systematic and random error so before we will explain accuracy truths and precision and how to quantify we should know before the relation between errors and these performance parameters. Errors divided into systematic and random errors that can affect on the results, which is equal to the difference between true value and measured value. These errors will bias the true value and should be removed. The only way to remove errors by repeating the analysis. So, Errors cannot be known exactly. So, instead of calculating errors, we should estimate the errors. Estimating the errors by these performance parameters. Accuracy, trueness, and precision. Trueness, which is the, the estimate for estimate of systematic errors. Precision, estimate of random errors. Accuracy impresses both systematic and random errors. Include both of them systematic and random errors so quantify it by assessing both of them systematic and random errors which is which is the total errors let's look at the interrelations between types of errors systematic random and total errors and their corresponding performance parameters trueness accuracy and precision and the quantitative expression of these performance parameters bias measurement uncertainty and standard deviation trueness is the estimate of systematic error. So systematic errors estimated by trueness and trueness expressed as bias. Precision, which is the estimate for random errors. So random errors estimated by precision, which is expressed as standard deviation. But accuracy is the estimate of both of them systematic and random error, total errors. So, accuracy quantified by assessing both of them, systematic and random error, as we said before, and expressed as measurement uncertainty. This figure, published by a group of people in the Quality Assurance at 2006 edition. So, accuracy, which is the closeness of results to the true value, and the estimate of total errors, systematic and random errors, can be expressed or evaluated in terms of two measures, trueness and precision. Trueness, which is the estimate of systematic errors, precision estimate of random errors. Let's talk about trueness. Trueness is closeness of mean of results to the reference value. Closeness of mean of results to the reference value not to the true value but to the reference value because reference value should be with plus minus measurement uncertainty so it's better to evaluate trueness using PT proficiency test or certified reference material because these samples with a reference value and provided with uncertainty limits and have a defined traceability so this is very true sample very stable sample so you can use it to quantify or evaluate trueness so you will make replicate from your CRM 6 to 10 replicates and then you will calculate the mean between all of them at the end you will calculate the bias because trueness is expressed as bias bias percentage which is equal to reference value you will find in the certificate of the CRM or PT, you will find a assi sign value minus mean 
between replicates, mean of replicates, divided by reference value multiplied by 100. This is bias. This to express trueness. And here is the example for how to evaluate trueness and calculate bias using certified reference material. CRM with assigned value 0.67 BBB and you run replicate of this CRM you find out these results and you should take care that recovery for every individual result should be accepted with an accepted limit from 70 up to 120 percent as example so we found out that all of these results close to the reference value and so mean also will be accepted will be closed to the reference value then you will calculate the mean the average between all of them 0.59 this is very close to the assigned value and then you will calculate the bias bias 0.67 reference value or assigned value and minus 0.59 average between all of these results divided by reference value multiplied by 100 this is how to calculate bias using and evaluate trends using CRM. But what you will do if you don't have PT or CRM for your target analytes? In this case, you can spike. You can spike your sample. You can spike your sample with known concentration, even 5 BBB as example. Known concentration. Then this is this will be your true value. And then you will make replicates from this. Then you will calculate the mean. Same like here and you will calculate the bias percentage which is equal to true value minus average or mean divided by true multiplied by 100 inshallah in the next lecture we will explain the other point which is precision to estimate the random errors See you in the next lecture, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.